Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. We are on the second part of my shopping trip for the day. Um, the first part was in my last video and this is the second part and that intro was terrible. But it wouldn't be my channel if I didn't have a terrible intro. So, we are turning into the parking lot. Yeah, uh, we are going to Marietta Antique Mall in Marietta, Georgia. So we're gonna head on in here and see what we can find to buy and resell. Um, I did spend more than my budget at the last place. So we're gonna have to cool our jets a little bit uh, at this store. So let's see what we can find. I'll see you guys inside. As you can see this is a very large mall as well um, the only thing that's different about this mall versus the one we went to in our last video is this one has a lot of new stuff like this one has a lot of vendors that you know do the whole Hobby Lobby thing which is totally cool if that's what you're into but I definitely like the true antiques but this one um, has a lot of vendors they don't do antiques, but you can still find a few treasures here and there. So let's head on in. So I just came across this Fenton Alley Cat. Um, it is 139, which is it's pretty high up there, but those can do really, really, really good. Um, so I don't know, that's a lot to buy for resale, but they can do good. Then here's these little babies. Look at them all in their little dresses. These are so cute. I like those a lot. And I like that um, silver plate musical royal. Is that Royal Bunny? Royal Dalton Bunnikins, $14.95. That's really pretty. But yes, if you guys ever come across these Fenton Alley Cats for a reasonable price, grab them. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to work. I'll have to double check because the music is blasting right here. But I do want to show you guys these beautiful three vintage hand-painted Santa mugs. They're made in 1995, but I still think they're really sweet. They're 350 dollars a piece. I'm not going to grab them, but I do like them. And then if we come across this way, look at this amazing mid-century booth. Everything in this booth is 20% off, but oh my goodness. Look at all of these vases. Tell me you guys aren't shook. So let's, let's head in here and just kind of gaze at these beauties. First, we have this orange Viking. That is really tall. It's 89, but then it's 20% off, which really isn't that bad, but oh my goodness. And look at this red one right here. This one is 189. It's Ellie Smith. That is a fat boy. Very chunky, but beautiful. And then we have this blue one and that big, big, big green one. This one is 89 with 20% off. So I don't know, they're all so pretty, but I don't think they're within my budget at this store, but they're beautiful, beautiful pieces. Do you guys see him? Look at that big boy. That is a big one. He's 125, but he is worth every penny of that. I'm not gonna get him, but he is beautiful. And here's this stuff. Oh, look, I just looked up and saw this, a memory jug. I love those things. That one's $95. Again, I gotta talk pretty consistently and a lot because the music in this mall is a blast. And uh, I don't know, I'm not doing as good in this mall right out of the gate as I did on the other one. I don't know if it's because I'm tired or because the music's got me all disheveled, but my brain isn't working as quickly as it usually does. But we're going to press on and see if there's anything to find in here and if i come across anything interesting else i will pick you guys back up here we have some small ceramic christmas trees this one is 35 it says as is oh it's all wonky on the bottom and here's some dirty santa pixies 
What did you do? Why are you so dirty on your beard? And then there's this one too. This one is mid-century tree as is, and this one is just shattered right there. So we're not gonna grab that one either. And here is some antique Christmas ornaments. Oh, look at this one with the stars and the planet. That is cute. Seven dollars. I have a lot of vintage Christmas and I need to get rid of some. However, I am currently looking for some vintage Santa mugs. That is something I want to have a few more of. But other than that, unless I see something really spectacular, I gotta cool my jets. So let's see what else we can find. See, this is kind of an example of what I was telling you guys about. It's beautifully set up, but obviously nothing in this particular booth is antique. Um, and it's kind of like this one. You have some antiques in this cabinet. You got the pirate or the Fire King tulip set, some Pyrex, but a lot of it is new as well. So, but like I said, it's a mix. You just kind of got to look around and. Uh, just see if you can pick out the treasures, but see again like in this booth There's a lot of new stuff That I can't really do much with as far as being a vintage or antique reseller But then there's a booth like this that has you know some new stuff But then they have a Victorian Bristol glass face right there. <laughs> so it just takes some scouring and I'm striking out at the moment. We got we got an empty buggy, but hopefully I can change that. So we're just gonna have to keep pressing on. All right, I came across some vintage Christmas. I like him. He is chalkware. Oh, he's sixty-five dollars, and he's chalkware too. How much are you, Mr. Santa? Uh, let's see. Twenty-eight. Are you? Oh no, you're not chalkware. You're plastic. Well, that's unique. Here's that oil lamp I want. Oh yeah, uranium. That is beautiful. I like that a lot. It's 95 though, so not gonna get that. Oh, here's this. Wah, wah, 68. But it's a it's a beautiful condition. That's a really, really pretty one. But nope, 68 is too much for a resale. Oh goodness, guys, and this music. Oh, look at these little bug men. These are cute. 16 for, oh, they're salt and pepper. I've seen them in the figurines, but I haven't seen them in the salt and peppers before. Those are cute. Let's see what else this vendor has in this little trinkety, dinkety shelf. Mm, not anything I see that I have to have. Here is a bunch of Christmas villages and caroler singers and Annalise but nothing that I see again that we have to have. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video, if y'all see it, obviously I posted it, but this music is just way too loud, not even for filming, but just for shopping. It's kind of obnoxious, but. All right guys, I'll see you in a sec. I got really excited on this piece. I saw it and instantly fell in love with it, and I looked down and I was like, 19.99? But then I read it and it's not to that. They are asking $150 on that. But I can tell you, if that were $19.99, I definitely would have grabbed it. So I just came across this booth, and this one looks promising. I know I said I wasn't going to buy any vintage Christmas, but mainly I think I meant that for myself. Um, I still am always actively looking for resale. Here is some of the really cutie patootie things. I am looking for some vintage Santa mugs, but I really kind of just want the ones that are more of a, a face. But then I see this right here. This is like one of those ceramic Christmas trees, but it holds candles instead. And it's got these birds on it. That is very unique. I like that a lot. Uh, I don't know if, how I would list that on eBay. It may be a little difficult, but I also kind of like it for myself. But I don't know. I wish you guys could talk to me and tell me if this is something you would be interested in. So I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it. And then they have a lot of these beautiful Christmas ornaments. 
what are these? These little Santa boots? I don't know what those would have been. Probably just feet for a Santa doll that is no longer attached. And then they have over here, they've got some else. This one is in his original little cellophane. That's pretty cool. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm just not getting along with this place, I don't guess. Oh, but look at this pink vintage tree. That is so cute. I love this pink tree. I love this. It's a vintage pink feather tree. It's $45. I don't need another Christmas tree, but that is so cute. I really, really like that. Um, that's a maybe. That's a maybe. If I did get it, I'd probably have to resell it because Christmas, you know, four-year-old gotta do it. Here's this tree. There's not these ornaments on this tree appear to be newer than on the other, but still pretty. Oh, I love this tree. I don't know. To be determined. So I know I'm a big old hypocrite because I said I wasn't getting any more vintage Christmas ornaments, but I found this one and I love it. I have to get it for myself. It's $8.95, so this is going to be for me. And I think after some debate, I am going to pick this up. I love the color and look at the little tip on it. And it's this really sweet pastel -y pink tree with this wooden pink base. I love this. It's going to be really hard for me to get rid of. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it yet. I don't know. I don't know. But I am, I am going to buy this. This booth actually belongs to that same person so that I got that I just got the tree from so we are gonna take a quick look in here and see if there's anything in here but thank you you're so pretty 1950s cord uh, cordy bust I can't talk today that is very pretty I don't know about for resale though those don't tend to do very good that's a pretty set oh and look at that framed bouquet art that was somebody's wedding or prom bouquet isn't that beautiful that is so sweet there is a baby hi baby and we've got some old ephemera here i have so much ephemera it's coming out my ears so we're gonna stay away from you. I'm not even going to look at you because I want to buy you. And here are some baby parts. Y'all are interested in some baby parts. And let's look over here. I'm so ready to get out of here to get away from this music. My goodness. This is some very loud music. Very loud. I can't even think, which is why I feel like I'm probably not finding as much as I normally do. <sighs> All right. Let's look in here. I love this stuff. If you guys haven't ever smelled this, I 10 out of 10 recommend it. This is the perfume I wear. One of the perfumes I wear. So here is a whole bunch of jewelry. Here's this little owl perfume pen. And some rings. They appear to be newer. Just a, a mixed lot of whatnots. And we've got some milk glass over here. And a tree with necklaces. A fairy. And what's in here? More newer Christmas stuff. Oh, she's cute. What are you doing? You don't fit in this booth. $17.50 in Apco. She's pretty, but her cold paint isn't, isn't very good. And we've got some Murano glass clouds down here with the Melifer. Me I can't say that word either. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Look at their eyes. That's the word. And yeah, that's interesting. A paperweight. Okay, guys, I'm so over this place. Let's let's. Oh my goodness, I spoke too soon. Look at this. Wow. That's pretty. I bet they want, um, I'm gonna say, $250. How much are you? No, 
twice. So, I don't know. Those are big. Those are Atlas moths. It says load butterfly, but I think I'm pretty sure it's an Atlas moth, not a butterfly. But I am not an expert. All right, let's let's finish up here. I can't I can't do it anymore, guys. I can't do it anymore. Let's go. Before we leave, I do want to show you guys into this case. This case has some really really beautiful stuff in it. Um, I'm kind of currently looking at that piece. I think that's vulcanite, but I can't really read what she says it is. But it's ninety dollars. If that or forty dollars. That is vulcanite. That is a good price for that. But I just picked up a brooch that's vulcanite, so I may pass on that. She has all those beautiful cameos back there. Oh, look at this little Mexican pottery frog. That's sweet, a little baby. And let's see what else she has. She just has the most beautiful things. I found hair morning jewelry in her booth before. So that's why I always duck check back just to see if she's added any more morning hair. But I don't see any today. But yeah, she has some really, really pretty, pretty things. Alright, do you guys see it? Let me know. Right there, I can already tell you that's Holt Howard. <gasps> Mr. Santa Man. Santa Candle Holder. I don't know, it's Holt Howard. He's $12. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, we're gonna get him. Into the cart you go. That is a good find. And let's see what else there is to snatch up over here. There's the celluloid Mr. and Mrs. Claus. That little Santa. There's a celluloid Christmas mug. There's these 1950s Holly uh, candle. Oh, these are Holt Howard too. All right, um, I'm not familiar with this. Their cold paint is a little disrupted, so I might look these up because I'm not familiar with this whole Howard um, pattern. And then there's this really sweet Santa planter. It's made in Japan. Here's a crystal glass Christmas tree. It's 35. But let's see what else is in here since I'm super excited about that whole Howard um, candlestick. Holder. You're kind of cool, Mr. Clown Man. You're also kind of scary. So there's that. And, oh, you scared the crap out of me. I did not know he moved. That scared me. Did he scare y'all? Don't lie. You can admit it. It's fine. Oh, look at this. McDonald's Farm ice cream. On carton. $25. I love the colors on that. That would look really cute in my house, but... I'm reframing, frame, framing, framing, reframing. That sounds weird. I'm not saying that right. Reframing. I don't. <laughs> I need to leave. All right, I'm gonna look these up real quick. But I think that that's a little. I think that's gonna be on the higher end. But just to double check, I'll look them up. So I wasn't able to find this exact pattern. Um, if they were in better condition, I would probably pick them up, but with all of that cold paint loss, I think I'm gonna pass, but I am gonna get the Santa Claus one. This necklace right here is so beautiful. I can't see the price tag, but I'm sure it's gonna be up there, but that is so, so pretty. She's got some really pretty jewelry in this case. Um, I like those bracelets too. Not that one, I like the grape one. And brooches. Pretty, pretty. Well, we're about to check out and I kind of regret leaving him behind. I'm kind of thinking about making an offer. Um, but that, I don't know guys, it's such a big gamble, but he is super unique and that color is beautiful, so I don't know. I will let you know if I decide to make an offer or not on this kit. So as much of a fun gamble as it would be to buy that and try to resell it, I just can't with good conscience, conscience do it on the month before Christmas. But if he's here after Christmas, I might come back and take that gamble. But as of right now, I'm gonna have to pump the brakes. 
Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for this shop along. What we are getting is the pink feather tree, the, what is it, church, mercury glass ornament, and the Holt Howard little candle holder. So, not the best, but they can't all be home runs. But thanks again for coming along with me, and thank you for joining me at The Withering Cottage. Bye guys!